What's going on guys, Victor here from Dexter Outdoors. Now, I got this jumbo Spanish mackerel. I'm gonna show you guys how to fillet. And this is one of the easiest fish to fillet out there. So we're gonna use this seven inch Dexter narrow fillet knife, and it's literally a matter of two steps. So I have them over here on this side. I'm gonna take the tip of my knife, and I'm just gonna go around the head, down to the ventral fin, to the backbone, not through it. And what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna take the tip and I'm gonna go to the other side of the fillet and I'm gonna make sure that I don't go through the backbone. Now what we're gonna do is, you wanna go in a nice straight line all the way down the length of this mackerel. So as close to the backbone as you can get without going through it. So just take your time. And these are seriously such easy fish to fillet because their backbones are not raised. So we should be able to flip this right up. And we're just caught right here. And there you go. As you guys see, the reason this fish is so easy to fillet is because this backbone is basically flush with the meat. And so you can just glide it right across and you don't miss anything. You can't do that with a lot of fish because they have a raised backbone. So we're gonna set this fillet over here and I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. <clears throat> I'm gonna just cut right here from the ventral all the way into the head. So, and then once again, we're gonna go to the other side and we're gonna just go down the length of it and just try to be on that backbone as close to it as possible the entire time. And take your time because sometimes you might think you're on it, but you're actually just gliding through the meat. And the second side is always the more tricky side. You should be able to hear your knife running along the bone so we're gonna flip them around, and that is what you end up with. There's your mackerel carcass, and now what you have left is, you have your two fillets, and you just have to trim this up now. So underneath here, underneath the belly, you're gonna go underneath, and just shave that off, get underneath the bone, and then like I was telling you, when you're going over that backbone, you can have a tendency to get the uh, anal or ventral fins, so go ahead and shave that off. Same thing with the dorsal. We didn't get it on the other fillet, just on that side. Now, mackerel have these pin bones that go from the head all the way to about halfway in the fillet. So you can do one of two things. If you're going to eat this with the skin on, you can go ahead and remove the pin bones, just don't go all the way through the skin. Or if you're going to take the skin off, like most people do, you can just go all the way through and you go take your knife on both sides of the mackerel, on one side, just to where the pin bones end. The other side, you can lift up, and then your pin bones lie in that section. So, and we can just remove a little bit of this because that's very a thin amount. There's one mackerel fillet. And one last thing I did with this fillet is I forgot off camera. The um, when you when you take that second fillet off, you have a tendency to get the bottom section of the fish. So you can go ahead and just cut it out like that, and then you're left with a bone-free fillet. Now I'm going to set this over here, and the same thing on the other side. We're just going to shave away, get underneath these bones, and just shave away. So if you want to leave it with the skin on, which is a great way to eat mackerel, that skin crisps up nicely, you can also eat it with the skin off. The only tricky thing is it's one of the easiest fish to fillet, but one of the easiest fish to mess up skinning because their skin is super thin. When you get a sharp knife like this, it's very easy to penetrate through. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to start over here by the tail, and when you're filling something like a snapper grouper with thick skin, you can get as close to that skin as possible. I'm just going to glide right above it. So I'm going to sacrifice some meat in order to not go through the skin. I'm going to sacrifice some meat to be able to get the skin off properly without leaving any on the fillet. Because a lot of people are freaked out by fish skin. So, as you guys will see, there's actually not a lot of uh, meat left on that skin. But this is something you really want to take your time with. And if you're gonna freeze mackerel, I highly recommend you take this out. This is the bloodline. 
So I'm going to take it out for demonstration purposes. But if you flip it over, just like here, if you take this section out, this is the fishiest part of a fish, and this is what will make your filet go bad in the refrigerator over a long period of time or in the freezer. Mackerel is not the greatest fish to freeze. It can be on the oily side, but there we have the bloodline as well as the pin bones removed. And you guys see the difference in the color of the meat between the bloodline and this. And when you freeze this, it will radiate out. Those oils will seep out into the filet and that's where mackerel can get a bad rap. But overall, it's a great eating fish. So you can do it two ways like I showed you. You can either just have it like this with the skin off. You could leave it with the skin on. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys are interested in the knives we use today, this is the Dexter 7 inch narrow fillet knife. You guys can find it in the description box below as well as a bunch of other knives on the Dexter Outdoors website. That's all the time I got for you today. Like, subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you guys in that next video.